on climate strike. Thank you all so much for coming out to participate yeah. in the biggest climate strike. heating up faster than we had imagined. It is having deadly consequences, but far too many of us can grapple and understand the deep urgency of the situation we are in right now. Wildfires are getting bigger, hotter, deadlier, and longer. Storms are getting bigger, wetter, and more frequent. People are fighting over dwindling resources, losing their homes to these disasters, and are forced to become climate refugees. More often than not, the climate crisis is not thought of when these things happen. We have to stop treating the climate change as this theoretical thing that we've read about in a textbook and treat it like a crisis, emergency, with the, the urgency it deserves and call it what it is, climate crisis, a climate emergency. And act like we are in it because it's not theoretical. It is happening all around the world to people and it's in our backyards from the catastrophic flooding to the extremely hot summers and more. This has been inadequately dealt with to the point that we have no choice but to sacrifice our education and disrupt the status quo in order to be heard, to get people to care urgently. We are bringing together concerned youth to show that our voices are unstoppable in creating the change that we know is coming. We are in a crucial moment in history where we have the power to rise up and to do everything we can in our power, as we only have 11 years and less to transform our society to save humanity from the irreversible consequences. We are under this myth that we are powerless and that no matter how hard we try, it will do nothing, which is far from true. We get much farther when we all try with everything we got than if we don't even try at all. We see the climate crisis as this big insurmountable problem that we can't do much about. Thinking we need to know all the science and politics to solve this, which is far from true. We need to instead be able to talk about our universal values like equality, justice, and a right to a livable future. Because refusing to talk about it gives power to the fossil fuel industry and politicians to keep us divided. When in reality, we, the people who understand the science and care about the sake of humanity, are the majority. If we mobilize all the concerned passive supporters, we can win and take on the power of a wealthy few. Because what we need is not money or power, but people, like you and me, to be part of the solution. Activism works. So what I'm telling you to do now is to act. Because no one is too small to make a difference. When we lead in this fight, we cannot forget about the millions of people dying right now because of the climate crisis. We privileged people think that it doesn't matter because we die anyway. But how can we live with ourselves if we just let millions of people die and watch biodiversity wither away when we all have the power to make a difference? Poor people, people of color, women, indigenous tribes, LGBTQ+, disabled people, young people, and other marginalized communities are disproportionately on the front lines and hit first and worst by the climate crisis and have historically been left out of the co climate conversation because of historic systematic injustices. We cannot overlook the fact that those who contributed the least suffer the worst, which is why we must be a leader in this fight because we have the most resources. Knowing this, how can we move forward? We are under the impression that we can just recycle and conserve our carbon footprint our way out of this crisis. We must remember that 71% of our world emissions come from just 100 companies. And we cannot look away from the complacency of corporations who knew way back when and bought the government to delay comprehensive action. We are the ones who must demand transformative and just action from the bottom up. Because when the people lead, the leaders follow. We might not be the sole root of this problem, but we are 100% of the solution. Woo! A <laughs> generation might not be able to agree on much, but all of us can agree in anger that this climate crisis is unfair and that action must be taken, even for those who don't know much, even for those who are cynical. We all want action for a livable future. So, I mean, we work so hard in school for our future, yet what is the point of studying for a future that may not exist? A lot of us know what we want to do with our lives, yet so many of us don't. So how will we get a chance to fulfill our destiny and find our place in life if our future is stolen without our permission? So, we're all looking for the light at the end of the tunnel, but why can't we be that hope? They call our generation Generation Z, thinking that we will be the last generation. We have been told that our fate and our destiny is predetermined and that there is nothing we can do to create change, but it is far from true. Imagine if all of us here believe that working together we can create the change we need to make a difference. Now, let's make that imagination a reality. Thank you.